Greetings, this is Tiana Levine. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time with Tiana. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I am presenting questions to you that are brought from readers, fans, and viewers. And they range from an assortment of topics from uh, relationships to career choices, all sorts of things. So greetings to you guys. Thanks for joining me today. And let's see here, we're gonna jump right into this tea time question. It's, it's curious. What are your thoughts on open marriage? Example, Monique feeling if she can't give her husband something, he's free to go out and get it. Okay, let me rewind a little bit. This is a show, vlog, whatever, for mature audiences. So, the topics are adult in nature, just as my books are, and uh, we're adults chatting with adults. So if you have little ones around you, just please be aware of that as we proceed forward. Um, and just quickly, if um, you don't know who I am, I am an author of 25 books and counting. I have a certification in human sexuality, and I have a bachelor's in business communication. All right, now that we've got that out the way, let's continue on. Okay, first off regarding this question, I'm of the philosophy that if something works for somebody, then do that. Um, if something doesn't work or makes someone feel uncomfortable, don't do that. We have that internal radar for a reason, and not all of us are alike, and not all of our needs are alike. Um, for me personally, um, open relationships is, is not conducive. Okay, I think a lot of women feel that way. Even some women who are in open relationships feel that way. And uh, just for further note, I think there's a misconception even about um, women regarding our needs. We've been allowing other people to tell us what we need when we're the actual authority on that. First of all, did you know that women are territorial? Yes, let me repeat that. We're territorial. Okay, there's this misconception that only men are territorial. No, it's not just the guys. Did you know that, and I'm not comparing us to animals, please just know that, but sometimes we do get insight from looking at the animal kingdom, you know, every now and again. But female dogs also mark their territory with urine. But every time we see cartoons or we, we think about things like that, we always think of a male dog. No, females do that too. And females in human form, we do it too. We mark our territory with our men. When we engage um, in sexual activity with them, we mark them. We have no choice but to mark them when you're exchanging body, body fluids. And sex is a spiritual connection, not just physical. So that's a whole nother reason why these things have to be taken very seriously before you um, consider jumping into something like that. Okay, um, now here's the thing. Polyandry is based is women who have multiple husbands. That's been going about since almost the existence of time, but we hear a lot less about that, don't we? Well, there's reasons why. One, it wasn't as common as polygamy, but also it doesn't fit into the needs of the people who tend to want to um, spread this agenda of open relationships and multiple wives and things of that nature. Okay, um, now I can guarantee you that even when these things were more prevalent in our African history as people, since everyone originated from the motherland, that not all of those people in those situations were necessarily happy about it, but it was customary. There's a lots of things that happened in our history um, that uh, are not something we would want done now, such as women being put in huts when they're menstruating, or uh, men having to fight to the, to the death over uh, catching some prey. There's all kinds of rituals and barbaric things that occurred that we would say today, well, that doesn't sound like something I necessarily want to get involved with. So it's, you know, sometimes just people do things uh, as far as convenience. There's a lot of cherry picking going on. Um, things that are convenient for us, things that help our argument, things that help 
uh, convince others of what we want to do in order to make it justified all of a sudden become the 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 the, the, the word they become uh, words bond they are the scripture of that but then the other portions of our history that don't fit into that or don't meld well into it all of a sudden are tossed to the wayside so we just have to be very careful too of where we receive our advice from and the motives uh, behind that now I say all that to say I am not um, someone who's into telling people what to do as stated people you know if 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 you if you like it I love it okay but for me personally and for many women um, but particularly women of color regarding this issue there is a movement of some sort to try to get us to agree to this to find it okay and to see the benefits in it um, there's a lot of benefits for men in it, but not a lot of benefits for women. Um, now, of course, that's not for everybody. Of course, there's some women who are in these relationships who would argue the latter. But from my studies on it and talking with women who have been, and I don't know if they, some of them are still in there, but there was a consensus. There was a lot of unhappiness that they weren't even sharing. They were afraid to share that. So, you know, this whole thing with Monique um, talking about her husband, if she can't do something for him, he's allowed to go out and do that. I think it was something in regard to once a year or something, he can um, have another lady Oh, you know, no. what, what, whatever. I don't know what's going on there. Um, that's that's their business. But I'm telling you, for you to keep yourself sane, it may not be um, the, the best answer. Because as stated a little bit earlier, we're sharing these things. So we, even when you have a fling, you end up bringing that person into the home from a spiritual sense. It's not just sex. And that's part of our problem as people. We take... We take these things so casually, intercourse, intertwining, integrating two separate people together, becoming one. Why do you think it's called becoming one? Okay, so you're going to become one with this person. It's, it's impossible. This is one ink pen. Okay, if I break it in half, it's not a working ink pen anymore, right? Um, and then there's this whole thing of, of greed, greediness. Uh, from from some guys where they're they're perpetuating this but it's about greed you know we have to be careful with that to making sure that you're not being used because some of these same men who are are telling women that this is an option and they should consider this with them they're forgetting even the roots of this many times when these relationships were taking place it was to help uh, with population control, as well as to um, help with the division of property, okay? And also let it be known, many of, actually not many, the majority of the men in these relationships were wealthy by those standards. So they could afford to have 10, 15, 20 wives and all the children that come from all of that mating with all those different women. OK, they could afford that. But now you got uh, Tommy down the street um, who's working at Sonic part time and he wants to have five wives. And, and, and that's just not that's not going to cut it. OK, so that's that's the other thing. Um, lots of these men do not have sustainable um, who are, per, are perpetuating this. They don't have sustainable income. They don't have sustainable income, um, and then they 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 are in a they have a con a controlling nature. Um, there's issues with them where they want it. So in the rare cases, though, there are some men who are they've got their stuff together and they can't handle that and they want this. That's a whole different thing. Then it's still not for me, and it's probably not for a lot of ladies. But keep in mind that is not the majority of the situation, though that is taking place out here, okay? Let's just be real. And the other thing is, if somebody wants an open relationship, why 
like getting married. Just, just date or even cohabitate, but agree to see other people. Why would you take those legal steps then to get married if you still want to share your vagina or your penis with someone else and your, even your womb? The other problem is when you open yourself up to things like that, open relationships, you're opening the door to all the things that walk in there. Like if you open a window, you're not only going to let the sun in, if you don't have a screen there, you're going to let all kinds of bugs and craziness in your home too. And the same goes with that. The open relationships open up the door to all sorts of trouble. All of a sudden, you're more prone to contracting an STD or having an unwanted pregnancy. You're more susceptible to dealing with someone who's crazy and doesn't want to let go after you've moved on. You're more susceptible to drama in your relationship. And then su subsequently, all the things that go with that, it's just not worth it. And that's not the society that we live in. It's not conducive to this society. If we lived in the days when this was more prevalent, then it could be even a more probable conversation. But this is not even, even the, the same way. We have all these STDs as stated. We have all these legalities and legal, not to mention if you are married and have the multiple wives, it's illegal here, so unless you're in Utah, but whatever. We have all these legalities regarding this that can occur that can totally just bomb your core relationship. And then you have to ask yourself, was it really worth it? I mean, there's all sorts of things that you can do to involve yourselves with multiple people that don't require you to be married. So why do it? Okay, so that is my take on that. You know, no, I'm not sharing any penis and there's, and I have a lot of guy friends, you know, and I don't think that they were trying to share, you know, their women either. So, but you know, do what you do. But as far as Tiana is concerned, the movement is moving along. People are pushing it. They're pushing their agenda, but think and do your research and trust your gut. Signing off. Thank you, everybody. Love you.